August 20th. At West Palm Beach, mostly sunny. Today, south-southeast winds 10 knots. Seas less than 2 feet. Period 4 seconds. Intercoast waters a light chop. Hey, what's up, happy people? We definitely got the B team going today. Brito Mascarande coming to you from Deer Meat for Dinnerland. It's Jupiter, Florida. It's a beautiful day. We're going out today in this flat, beautiful ocean. We're going to catch some lobster. We're going to deliver them from a great distance, drop them off at Deer Meat's house, and uh, let Sarah, Robert, and the girls have some good dinner. Between now and then, we're about to have a bunch of fun and show you the way. Hey Austin, you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, good news. The good news is we got a lot of options to figure out. We, we got a lot of options to figure out where to go diving. Between me, Robert, Gabe, Dad, buddies, we got a lot of options. The bad news is I'm not sure which one's the best one. But something I want to pitch out for everyone, I know you all know about fish rules and we got all the regulations there. But in fish rules, if you become a pro subscriber, then let me show you this. You go down to maps, go up here, you turn on artificial reefs and turn on Florida Atlantic. Now guess what? As I zoom in, all the artificial reefs in my area are gonna appear and I can tap them and it'll tell me about 100 foot deep tetrahedron stack. You can guarantee improve your fishing performance by downloading these artificial reefs and go explore them and fish them. You will have a great time. And if you don't have a GPS that looks like ours and 800,000 different waypoints to choose from, Fish Rules app, become a pro subscriber, turn on the reefs, turn on the reefs in your area, and you'll be stoked at your options. Let's go get some fish. Wait, we're going for lobster. I don't know what is about to happen, but I'm going prepared for everything. I'm bringing a spear gun, I'm bringing a pole spear, I'm bringing a lobster bag, I'm bringing it all. All right, we're here. There's something on the bottom worth eating. Austin's gonna be on the boat. The ball's gonna show where I am. I'll see you in about 40 minutes. We'll be back like the electric bill. Aubrey just anchored up the ball. That means he found something worthwhile. Maybe a bunch of lionfish, maybe some lobster, hopefully some lobster.
we jumped in looking for some bugs. We got some bugs, we got a lionfish. And uh, man, it got really nice there at the end. I used all the air that was in that tank. I'll just say it like that. <laughs> at the very end of the dive, of course, come up on a nice ledge with four good bugs on it. I think I caught two out of it and two more. If I had a little bit more air, I'd have got them. But anyways, we'll put this junk in the boat, unload the dive bag, see what we got. Listen, lobsters, lionfish, and I have a bonus fish in there. I didn't mention when I was getting out of the water. Let's unzip the bag and see what it looks like. Lobster, 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 lionfish. Not the biggest lionfish, but that lionfish will make some fine ceviche. And uh, hey, little bonus red grouper right there. I'm pretty stoked. I was down, I was on a beautiful ledge. I got some video of it, I'm pretty sure. I was down on a beautiful ledge. I was looking for some bugs. Looking, 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 and all of a sudden he just came out of nowhere. Laid the gun down, I picked up the three prong. I made sure he was legal and uh, he's in the box. Deer meat. We ain't eating deer meat for dinner tonight. We're eating lobster and grouper fingers. <laughs> Party on. Nice, man. Hey, keep them on ice, baby. Keep them fresh. Keep them on ice. El Red Grouper. Ice down. Three. Four bugs. All right, change of pace. We're actually down off the breakers here, run way down past Palm Beach Inlet. And uh, I don't have any numbers down here. I do have the artificial reefs from fish rules like we talked about. I have poked around, I've marked some bottom. We're gonna go exploring. I got grouper and I got lobster in the box. Dive number two is gonna be exploration. We'll see what we see. Now, Aubrey's diving by himself today. So typically when there's two people, I would drop a slow pitch jig, try to fish, maybe catch a fish myself. But today I'm just gonna pay real close attention to Aubrey. I got both my dive flags up. I'm just watching other boats. I'm watching that ball right there. That's indicating where Aubrey is. Making sure no boats run us over, run over the ball. And also we just remembered that we forgot our uh, our flotation devices. So if he shoots a big fish, he's gonna have to swim it up instead of float it up. So I'll also be watching for that.
There was a hogfish down there that didn't know how close he came to saying goodnight for the last time. So I just made friends. I swam around, I told stories to the hogfish, and in the end I told him have a nice day. But I did pick up a couple of his friends, lobster friends, and I found one of his mutton friends. So I brought them to the party tonight. Dear me, we got dinner. <laughs> Over the rail and in the pail. Hot dog, there he is, Mouton. Now we got lobster, mutton snapper, red grouper, but I promise you that lionfish is as good as anything on that table to me. So you know how it goes on deer meat for dinner. You bust out your silver stag and you clean them up. Here's, here's how we're gonna do it. So I'm just gonna make this easy on me. Cut them right there, ring them. I'm gonna put the heads in the bucket because I'm gonna use the heads for something else. I can't remember if y'all, Robert has shown y'all this trick. As kids, we used to always break an antenna and run it in the opening here, the cloaca, to get the, the pooper out. But it's curious if you just cut right here, cut right there grab it the vein is going to come right out and you don't have any business going up in the back of the tail so there's one pretty easy cut them and keep the heads put the tails up here and remember when you're out in the ocean grocery shopping you don't have to kill everything you see that that hogfish that we saw beautiful legal hogfish you know we we're gonna leave him for next time get enough for dinner I knew I wanted enough for Robert and Sarah and the girls to have a good dinner for Austin to have a good dinner for my family to have a good dinner and we got plenty for all of the above if you were to walk in and look in my freezer there's not one piece of fish or lobster in it they stay fresher if you leave them in the ocean until you want to eat them We're all different. We all like to do things differently. Generally, I think my way is the better way because I'm the older brother. But I really like to take time and trim the bloodline out. And it just, it is what it is. We have enough high quality fish. Taking time to trim that bloodline out of that fish will make a big difference on the quality of that. Gone through all that effort to get that beautiful fish that last step is trimming a little bit of bloodline out of there will make all the difference that is some fine eating fish and to me I'd way rather eat this fish than that lobster but we'll send this out I know Ari and Emma are some natural fish eating girls so I can't wait for Robert to cook this up and for them to know that Uncle Aubrey loves a whole, all of them and is glad to provide them when uh, when Robert's been feeling so bad thank the Lord that he's doing better all right, we've done the deal. Got the cooler of goods. I'll show y'all what we got in here. We got fresh hand-picked mango from dad's house. Four lobster tails and mutton snapper. Party on. Let's go see if deer meat's home. Hey! What's up, man? My brother. <laughs> you can't make me yell like that, dog. I have in the cooler, Austin and I went out in the ocean and we caught lobster and we speared mutton snapper and I even brought a fresh mango from grandma and grandpa's house because I think y'all like mango, right? I don't. You don't like mango? Oh, well, you're crazy. I love mango. Oh, man. Well, listen, <laughs> I can't thank you enough, bro. It uh, means more to me than you know. Hey, but to everybody at home, this is what I want to tell you. That's what this life is all about. Having fit friends and family, having a crew around you that will, okay, that will be there for you when you're down. You know, I've been down for two weeks and between the work of 
Austin and Gabe and Aubrey and Jeff editing and we haven't really missed a beat, man. I've actually been enjoying watching the videos. It's, hey, I like, hey. I feel like a fan of my own channel. Hey, I was like, come on, Austin. What the heck are you putting Doritos on fish? Now I feel like I gotta try that. Yeah. Dear mom. Hey. But, uh, so anyway. Sarah, does this mean you're the strongest of all because you were asymptomatic? <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh man, you know, you know, we've definitely been praying for you guys just like you can't believe well, and you. are thankful, thank the Lord that you're better, getting better. And uh, it was a rough go, but this is all I got to say. I'm hungry. We're about to go cook some lobsters and fish and enjoy a great dinner. Thank you very much. I can't wait to get back hey. out there. Hey, you guys, drop a thumbs up if you really appreciate what Austin and Aubrey and Gabe and everyone's been doing. Hey, I'm just glad I got to come in off the bench. I was sitting on the bench. I was like, put me in, coach, put me in. I got put in. Let's go. Well, you guys, it is good to be back. Although I don't feel like I'm fully back. I am back enough to make dinner for the family. Um, it's been such a blessing. Our family and friends have been bringing over food. This is some leftover rice that was in the refrigerator. These are some of mom and dad's, mom's little uh, cornbread cakes that I love so much. We got some peas, and then obviously Aubrey and Austin were so kind to get us some mutton snapper. These are the collars and some lobster. While that gets hot real quick, I'm just going to split these. I mean, I just can't exp express how kind it was for them to go out and make a video and bring us some fresh seafood. Not only does it taste good, but it's gonna be really good for us. So we're gonna take some eggs, throw in here. Salt, pepper. some butter. Good. Once you have your eggs, they're all done like this. Take your rice, throw them in there. Let that just start. Then we can take some of our peas. And this is just a good way to utilize leftover food and make something really nice that the whole family is going to enjoy. Now we'll just take a grill pan, put some butter in there. We're actually going to utilize this butter after we're done cooking. This is on low over here, just, and this is going to be really good. We're not going to go too extravagant. We're just going to give ourselves a little Everglades, a little Himalayan salt, and some pepper. That's about that over here. This is olive oil. We're just going to add a little olive oil to our butter, keep it from burning. Now that's what I'm talking about. Bunch of nice butter in there. We can utilize that later. And we'll just start laying our lobster tails right in there. You don't even want it too hot. You, look at look how fresh they are. So fresh, everything's just, just perfect. Mom and Dad have a really nice mango tree in their yard. It's always good to get a fresh mango from them. I think fresh fruit is just so good for you, especially when you're down like we've been. So we've been trying to eat plenty of fruit every night. 
This could be a little bit riper, but it'll still be good. The riper a mango is, the softer and mushier it is. This one's nice and cold. There we go. And then you just, the girls love it. You just take and cut off a few nice slices. And you just take your lobster, take these tails, and turn them face down. These are about perfect. See that? That's what we're looking for. I always like to turn them up on the plate. That's gonna allow the butter to just percolate down in between the meat and the shell. And you may think to yourself, well, that's a lot of lobster. Right. But tomorrow, I'll be eating this with an omelet in the morning. Might make a sandwich out of it because to your surprise, my girls like fish more than lobster. So right in the same butter, we'll go ahead and drop the fish. And these are the collars. Those are the collars. Can't thank Aubrey enough for cutting them out. That's prime meat. Give this fish a quick little turn. Just like that, y'all, we have reached the finish line. It's time to eat. This fish looks delicious. Dear Lord, thank you so very much for this opportunity to sit here together as a family and eat. Lord, I thank you for my friends and my family and all the doctors and nurses and first responders that are out there giving it their all, trying to keep people healthy and safe from this virus that's going around. Lord, I thank you for Aria and Emma and Mommy. Lord, I thank you for everything that you've given us. And I thank you so very much for getting me through this, and getting me out of it, and keeping my family safe. Lord, please nourish this food to our bodies and forgive us of all of our sins. Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hold on, let's see what you think. <coughs> let me see what I think. I I'll eat it. But. You'll eat it. I think that's delicious. Are you? I mean, look at that, y'all. Are you kidding me? Just that's so good. Mm. This has been a, a real blessing, Aubrey. Thank you so much for taking the time and going out. Austin, thank you so much for all that you've been doing for the channel and for us as a family. Um, but that's all I got for you tonight. Take care of one another, pray for one another, and be there for one another. But that's all I got for you tonight. Take care, God bless, and we are... <laughs> God.